This fall, Williamson Parks and Recreation will begin the process of converting the city's pool into green space for recreational activities. Wednesday, we spoke with Parks and Recreation Executive Director Jared Dean about the project. When you're looking at green spaces and you're looking at uh, just parks property for families to come and enjoy and, and come out and just recreate together uh, and have that family unit uh, in one place at a park setting, uh, that's what we've been lacking. So we're going to convert the pool property into green space and uh, do some other projects as well. On the screen here, uh, you can tell uh, the pool, uh, you know, it's been shut down for uh, over five years now. And so it's time to do something with it. It's been sitting there as an eyesore for a long time. It's a liability as well. Uh, so we're going to take this and fill all this in and create a nice green space. And we want to leave all of the concrete uh, in here as well. The kiddie pool we're going to fill in. We're going to make that like a little dog park as well. Uh, and then back here where the uh, volleyball court is, we want to build an amphitheater, have a covered stage. Uh, that way we can host drama plays, outdoor concerts, uh, we can host uh, wedding venues as well. Uh, so it opens up a, a, a big revenue stream for us, but also access for the public to come in and enjoy some green space in the city. Developments in the conversion include a placeholder for updating the community center and repaving the park's tennis and basketball courts. We're hoping to start filling in the pool this fall uh, and, and start working the property. Uh, hoping before the winter season kicks in that we're going to get some of the asphalt work done, especially on the tennis court. That's going to be one of the first options that we go with. Um, if we can get it all done at one time, that would be great. Uh, we have some meetings coming up with some funders and some foundations, and so we're, we're on the move uh, with, with that. Uh, they are trying to secure the funding uh, and the grants to do, do this work. Uh, we're also open to folks that want to sponsor uh, some of these projects. You know, you're not, you're not just giving your money to the parks, you're giving your money to the community because all the money that we raise and the money that we bring in is going towards these projects so we can have more options for our families and the kids to enjoy here in the city. Uh, most of the time, you know, you, you see people uh, either going to Logan or, or Pikeville, and, and those are great parks and those are, those are great communities, but we want our folks enjoying our community as well. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.